I'll reach Dumfries house and uh, we're going to have a walk around. So walking from the car park, uh, there are two big laid out car parks. We've got um, buildings for the engineering school and then you walk through and there's some nice planted area, obviously a bit early in the year. And what was lacking in uh, summer flowers is made up for by the unusual statues um, and bridges and buildings that are scattered throughout the grounds um, and I'll be showing you some of those now. And there's some large children's play areas <clears throat> and some lovely walks along to the bridges and um, this one being the Chinese bridge. And this is the Chinese bridge um, which I had to persuade Ted walk over because he doesn't like steps that have got gaps in them um, and when you pan around there's the um, other bridge the old bridge um, which is um, the bridge that cars can go over and that's just in the distance And as well as benches, you've got lovely swing seats to use dotted everywhere. You've got great turn, well laid out paths, nice and wide as well. And lots of water features going around on the way uh, to the walk to the wall garden. And you can now see Ted uh, rolling around in the sun. As I said, I really was quite impressed with uh, the layout here. The paths are really wide, really well laid out. You're not walking through patches of wet puddles all the time. Um, I think they've, they've made it very disabled friendly in the way that uh, the paths have been done. Good boy. Oh, there's a doggy over there, is there? Those are pretty flowers. Yeah. Right, we're walking to the walled garden now, which is up there in the distance. And I can only imagine that in the summer um, the display here would be beautiful because it's lovely even at this time of year before everything comes into bloom.
So we've walked up to the glass houses um, and there's another sculpture in the garden and um, dogs are not allowed into the glass houses so I've filmed a little bit of the plants they've got on display through the window. And I was having a thoroughly enjoyable day and as you can see um, there are lots of different areas. There's a huge children's play area. Uh, this is the maze. It was closed but opens again 1st of April. And um, some of the buildings are really interesting. So here's another one we walked up to. So I've been looking down on the walled garden here and um, just the usual stuff that obviously um, if you like my videos and you want to follow uh, mine and Ted's journey as we travel around living in our Honda Jazz um, then please feel free to subscribe to the channel um, just by clicking the subscribe button and you see it under the videos etc and um, if you want a notification when I've put a new video online then press the little bell symbol um, I'm also on Facebook um, and if you want to send me any questions or um, make any recommendations on my video skills which are basically only filmed on my phone or my iPad and with the broken wrist so I may be a little bit shaky at the moment but um, I'm, all, I'm always willing for recommendations um, as long as I don't cost any money Okay. <laughs> and here's Dumfries House itself. This is taken from the side and the back. And uh, so there's a big marquee, and there was some sort of event going on around the front. So uh, I didn't bother to take Ted over there, and so we wandered our way back to the car.